Hey everybody, I'd like to do a video on the 2001 Red Sox yearbook now. This is another yearbook I got a few months ago, and as you can tell by it, it's small. It's it's about the same length as the 2000 yearbook, which I did a review on two days ago. And um, anyways, I'll get down to the video. Um, on the cover, it shows Nomar Garcia Parra, Pedro Martinez, and Manny Ramirez, who we acquired that season. And then it shows Babe Roof, and I believe that's... Johnny Pesky, I think. I don't know who the other two players are. I know that one's Babe Ruth. I don't know who the other two players are. Um, but anyways, um, and then also shows on the cover is is the Red Sox's 100th season. Because fun fact, for those who don't know, on the 2001 season was the 100th season for the Red Sox. First season they had was 1901. And this is actually the first yearbook that has has the name of the yearbook on the side of the, the, the book, which is something the 2000 yearbook doesn't have. And that's actually the only yearbook I have where there's nothing written on the side. The others have it, though. Anyways, I'll flip through this. This is a description about we've got Ted um, Ted Williams, C.Y. Young, Babe Ruth, Nomar Garcia Parra, Pedro Martinez, and Manny Ramirez. I actually just remembered um, the other two players on this cover... Um, are C.Y. Young and uh, Ted Williams. That's C.Y. Young right there. That's Ted Williams. I just remembered after reading that description. Oops, sorry. I got to open the book. And then this is the 1901 Boston Red Sox, who were known as the Boston Americans during that time. That's another fun fact. They were the Boston Americans from 1901 to 1911. Or I think it was 1900. I don't know. And then there's some facts about C.Y. Young and Buck Freeman, who were on the 1901 Boston Americans. And then this is the schedule, like with every yearbook, of course. And then, of course, here's Jimmy Williams, our manager during that time. Coaching staff. And then what's different about this yearbook compared to the 2000 yearbook is that I'm... Um, this yearbook shows the players at their lockers. And it actually shows their last name on the top and then their first and last name position and number on this side. So this one, of course, is Pedro Martinez. And then this is, um, those are just brief descriptions about the Red Sox's 100 seasons. Which you can pause to take a look at. I'm not going to read through it. Got Nomar Garcia Parr. Who is one of the best players we had. Pedro Martinez is one of the aces we had, one of the aces, ace pitchers we had. And then that's Manny Ramirez, which we acquired in 2001 from the Indians, which um, Manny Ramirez was one of the best players we had, another one. And there's actually some pictures of some of the players we had a long time ago right there. And that shows the Red Sox's uniforms and equipment and the lockers, of course. And then, who's this one about? Okay. Sorry about that. I was making sure I was on track on what page is on. Okay, this is Carl Everett. Who won a World Series with the White Sox in 2005. And he was a DH. He was an outfielder for the Red Sox. DH for the White Sox. Got Hideo Nomo. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Got Derek Lowe, another ace pitcher for the Red Sox. Then we got Jason Veritek, who was our captain. And then there's a description about these players, so I'm going to read their names that I just went past. We had um, the players Red Sox had a long time ago, which they were the best players we had, were Tris Speaker, Smokey Joe Wood, um, Larry Gardner, Harry Hooper, Babe Ruth, and then Lefty Groth, and then Joe Cronin. That was one of the best players we had. We actually had a lot of best players back then, even in the early years of baseball. And a fun fact, the Red Sox won their first World Series title in 1903, and that was the very first World Series to be held, which the Red Sox, who were known as the Boston Americans during that time, defeated the Pittsburgh Pirates in eight in eight in eight games because for a couple of the World Series um, championships they did best of nine series. 
and the Red Sox won that series in eight games. Okay, we have Jimmy Fox, that's another notable player right there. We've got Bobby Doerr, one of the greatest, perhaps one of the greatest, same with Jimmy Fox. And we got Troy O'Leary. Of course, another greatest player, Ted Williams, which he actually served in World War II, which is why he temporarily left the Red Sox, then he came back. But of course, he died a couple years ago. And we got Jose Offerman. And then another description about the greatest player, Don DiMaggio. And then this one's John Valentin. And fun fact, it actually shows a picture of the player right there in the locker picture. And of course, here's another greatest player, Johnny Pesky's description, which Johnny Pesky died in 2012, which was the year Fenway Park turned 100 years old. But, I mean, he was one of the greatest players, though, by far. And Bobby Doerr, I forgot to mention, died about a few years ago, and he was actually the oldest living Red Sox player. He was, he was 99 years old when he died. Johnny Pesky was 92 years old when he died. So, yeah, they lived a long life. Got Brian Dalbeck, another great player, Mel Parnell. Got Tron Nixon, of course. He's one of the few players in the 2000 yearbook, or several players, which Trot Nixon was later traded to the Indians. Vern Stevens, another player I'm not familiar with. Most of the players I'm reading about in the small description I'm familiar with. Some of them I'm not. Got Frank Castillo, and the description about Jackie Jensen, who I'm not familiar with. Darren Lewis, and then another player I'm not familiar with, Frank Malzone. I mean, the first, like, ten players I read about I'm familiar with. Chris Steins. And then Bill, let me think, I'm gonna, how do I pronounce it? Bill Monboquet. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. That's another player I'm not familiar with. Of course, you got Tim Wayfield right here. Another one of the ace pitchers for the Red Sox. Along with Derek Lowe, Kurt Schilling, and Pedro Martinez. They were the, eight, they were the ace for the Red Sox. Ace pitchers. And there's the script and there's a description about um Carl Yastrzemski, which I'm familiar with. His grandson, um, Mike Yastrzemski, plays on the Giants. And he's actually one of the best players for the Giants. Along with um Buster Posey, Brandon Belt, and Brandon Crawford. Which Buster Posey, Brandon Belt, and Brandon Crawford are the longest tenure players on the Giant on the Giants. Okay, next player, on to the next one, Shea Hillenbrand. Next player I'm not familiar with for the description is Dick Radaz, or Radatz. That's the better way to pronounce it. Scott Hatterberg. Another player I'm familiar with, Rico Petros Petroselli. One of the greatest by far. And then Rod Beck, another player. And of course, another player I'm familiar with, which tragically, he was never the same... Um, after his his injury was Tony Canigliaro. he first played on the Red he played on the Red Sox from 1964 to 1967. Um, in 1967, his life was changed forever. Um, he was he was beamed in the he was beamed in the eye and cheekbone by a pitch from Jack Hamilton in the game against the California Angels, and that caused him to miss the rest of the season. And he did not play in the 1967 World Series. And he missed the entire 1968 season. He came back, though, in 1969. And he had a productive season at the Red Sox. And he also had a productive season in 1970. He won Comeback Player of the Year in 1969. But, in 19, but he was never the same, obviously. In 1971, his vision started going like downhill and he started struggling. And he was traded to the Angels in 1971. And then he temporarily retired from baseball. He was out for four years. He tried to make a comeback with the Red Sox in 1975, but his eye, the eye that he had the injury in was permanently damaged, and he was forced to retire at 30 years old. And, um, and then he got a stroke in 1982. He was in a vegetative state, died in 2004. He just wasn't the same afterwards. He was just met with two tragedies. I mean, he... he even though Tony Canigliaro had his career cut short, he's still one of the greatest Red Sox players of all time. 
he's still one of the best. His picture's right there, actually. And his legacy lives on. Anyways, back on to the players. Next one's Rich Garcia. Jim Lonborg. The description right there. It's another player I'm familiar with. Dante Bacchetti. Not familiar with. Reggie Smith. The description. Not familiar with. Who's the next player? Mike Lansing. Another player I'm not familiar with. Carlton Fist. I'm familiar with in this description. And a fun fact about Carlton Fist, which I talked about in the 2000 yearbook. Um, when I did the video, um, he had a walk-off homer in Game Six of the 1975 World Series, and he's one of the greatest, another one of the greatest players, of course, and he's one of the several players to have his number retired. So was Ted Williams, Bobby Doerr, Mike, er I mean Carl Yastrzemski. Sorry, not Mike. Mike's actually playing right now. Carl Yastrzemski is his grandfather. And then who else had their numbers retired? Pedro Martinez had it as David Ortiz, Dustin Pedroia which Dustin Bedroy got his number retired this year because he retired, and then many other players. Yeah. Tomo Oka, he's Japanese, I know that name. I'm not familiar with him, though, but that name is Japanese. Louis Tiant, another player I'm familiar with. Sorry if I pronounced his name wrong or last name. Rolando Rojo, not familiar with. Dwight Evans, I'm familiar with. He had his number retired. And he's another one of the greatest Red Sox players. Paxton Crawford. And then another player I'm familiar with, which is the description right here, is Jim Rice. Another player who got his number retired. And of course, he's one of the greatest. Pete Skorak. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing these last names wrong. And then the description about Fred Lynn, which I'm familiar with, had his number retired. Another one of the greatest. Craig Grebeck. Another one I'm not familiar with. Same with Bob Stanley in that description. And then we have Lou Merlani. Not familiar with. I'm familiar with Wade Boggs, though, in this description, who also had his number retired since he's one of the several greatest players of all time. Brett Saberhagen, another player. Which I looked at, which he's in the 2000 yearbook as well. Roger Clemens, I'm very familiar with. Red Sox actually honor his legacy. And recently, some of the players wore number 21 to honor him. Because he's one of the greatest pitchers of all time. Who's the next player? Uh, Hippolito Pichardo. Some of these players are new to me. That's why I never heard of them. Movan, I've heard of, though. I'm familiar with him. Another greatest player of all time. And he has number retired. David Cohn, not familiar with. And, of course, descriptions about Nomar Garcia Parr, which I've already talked about him. And I know him pretty well. He's one of the best players of all time. Bryce Flory. Another great player. Description, Pedro Martinez. already mentioned him. And here's the statistics. Which I'm only going to talk about the players I'm not familiar with, because some of the players in this yearbook are not familiar with me, to me, so I'll talk about them. Of course, I'll talk about Manny Ramirez's career statistics. Um, he played on the Indians. He played on the Indians from 1993 to 2000. He played on the Red Sox from 2001 to 2008. He was on the Dodgers from 2008 to 2010, which he was on the Dodgers. He was on the White Sox in 2010, Rays in 2011. Okay, Hideo Nomo, he played on the Dodgers, the Mets, Brewers, and the Tigers. Jose Offerman was on the Angels, Royals, and the Red Sox, or, or I think Dodgers, my bad. But I don't know who. Maybe Angels, I could be wrong. No, it was the Dodgers, my bad. Because the Angels were called the Anaheim Angels around the time, so that's my bad. John Valentin on the Red Sox. Then we have Frank Castillo. He was on the Cubs, Rockies, Tigers, Blue Jays, and the Red Sox. Chris Steins, he was on the, the Reds, then he went to the Red Sox.
Dante Pichetti, who was on the Angels from 1988. He was on the Angels first, then then the um, Brewers, then the Rockies, Reds, and then the Red Sox. He was on the Angels in 1988 for three seasons. Mike Lansing was on the Expos, Rockies, and the Red Sox. Tomo Oka came to the Red Sox. Roland Orojo played on the Devil Rays, Rockies, and the Red Sox. Paxson Crawford was on the Red Sox, obviously. Craig Rebeck was on the White Sox, Marlins, Angels, Blue Jays, and the Red Sox. Lou Merlani was on the Red Sox. Hippolito Pichardo, he was on the Royals, then the Red Sox. David Cohn was on the Royals, the Mets, Blue Jays, then on the Royals again, then Blue Jays again, then the Yankees, and then the Red Sox. Bryce Flory, he was on Padres, Brewers, Tigers, then the Red Sox. Then we got Sox on the Rise section. We got Morgan Burkhart, Jin Ho Cho, Juan Diaz, Casey Fossum, Sun Woo Kim, Sang Hoon Lee, Jesus Pena, Steve Lamazny, Juan Pena, Darnell Stenson, Wilton Verass. That's about it. These are the 2000 farm stats. And a fun fact I want to mention, I've actually been to a couple Red Sox games. Um, hadn't been to one over a year because of COVID. The last game I went to for the Red Sox was against the Blue Jays, which, which was back in 2019, which we lost 6-1. to one. And before the Red Sox games, I actually went to a couple little Spinners games and Pawtucket Red Sox games, who are now, which they're now in Worcester. And then these pages, these are just stats sections, which I'll briefly show them through. Oh, sorry. I apologize for that section, for that, for the path, for the back of the book flipping. It's because my fan is on, so that's why. So I apologize for that. Just because my room is hot in here, that's why I have my fan on. Again, I gotta, I gotta hold on to this section of the book with my hand because the fan's gonna blow it down. Because <laughs> fans are powerful. They have strong. They're strong enough. They have strong enough wind to blow book pages down. Alright, and last but not least, here is the 2001 roster for the Red Sox. Sorry, my shadow's in the way. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.